Hi. Sorry. Ah, it's okay. Let's do this. It's time. So, hey everyone, my name is Owen Fox, and in this video, I want to talk about what makes good conversation. What make what is good conversation? What is worth talking about, and what's not worth mentioning at all? And what should we limit our gossip or chat and conversations to? And what should we speak more of to make us feel better, to, to find solutions in our life, to get empowered and to feel better and to enjoy and to be as happy as possible. So if anyone knows me, I'm all about fun, play, love and laughter. And to have as much good times as possible in life. And to do the work, the healing, the growth, the learning, the lessons, um, to do the expansion and do it all with a, with a glossy finish, do it all with a sense of grace and shiny, positive, positive, fun living. Make it adventurous, make it worthwhile, make it enjoyable and memorable. So. I've been through so much in my life and it's through thick and thin and lots of hardship and growth lessons that I've reached this place that I am in in my life. And one thing I've noticed in myself, and I'm not going to even bother talking too much about what I've noticed in others because I've seen it myself primarily but I've also seen it in other people. And that is, like, we have this habit that comes from the media and the social conditioning of popular culture to basically talk a lot about what we don't want, which is called anxiety. <laughs> or if talking about the past but what we didn't like or didn't want that's called regret and um, sadness and when we're talking about our life situation right now what we don't like or want that's called sadness and misery and depression too and when we're thinking about or talking about in the future it's also called fear so it's as simple as ABC to avoid these emotions we don't like that so many prescription pills that don't even work properly and damage us, um, we can simply change our thoughts. And there's books written on this endlessly. I have a book written about this in the, in the making. But anyway, I just want to say like, yeah, I have two books already written and I've got like loads of videos that I've inspired to make. Um, Thanks, Tanya. For, that's lovely, Tanya Lee. Thanks for that. Happy day to you as well. <sighs> she says, happy day to you. So we should consider limiting and observing ourselves, talking about the past. The sad stories are um, like when we go on a date, for example, or we meet someone new, we think it's important to tell them about our significant events in our past. But... If it makes us feel bad, everyone, we should really consider not doing it at all. There's no point. We, we are not our past. We are, we are a result of our past. But we are fresh, new, right here and now. Um, it's very important to be aware of what we're thinking about and talking about from related to the past or to the future. Um, so let's say we, are, we decide to talk about the past. We should talk about it when it has a happy ending. So, for example, let's say we've overcome something and we've learned and grown and expanded and we've become a far more better, superior, advanced being as a result, which is cool compared to where we were before. Then that's a fun topic to talk about. We've triumphed over adversity. We've done the lessons. We've received the parcels in the post from God or Source, the universe, and we've actually unwrapped them. So, so, so sources have to keep sending the same presents over and over again, which in similar or different life lessons. So... Um, so if it has a happy ending, talk about the past. Introduce yourself to someone, say, yeah, 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 this is what's going on, this is what happened. But don't do it and yap if it's, oh, it's a negative downer. Oh, I never learned. I didn't, like, I didn't sort of, like, overcome it, you know. If it's empowering and it feels exciting and fun to talk about, have a laugh. If it feels empowering and it's not even funny, talk about it. If it feels good. Same with the future. Paint a funny, good story. T have fun, laugh, joke. Um... Like, I've, just, I've been doing this extensively in my own life, and like, I swear to God, my vibration has really improved a lot in the last six months to a year, like, enormously. Even the last three months, I swear to God, it's really improved the last three months. Um, I've learned how to focus and think, how to use my mind for, for fun, love, laughter, connecting and healing. Um, very empowering. I've never been as wise. I've never been as empowered when it comes to relationships and communication. I used to be in uh, funny, fun funky relationships 
And now I'm in a great relationship, and I'm in the best ever relationship with my mum too. But in my intimate partner relationship, I'm in the best one I've ever been in. And that's because of where I am and where she is. It's, not, it's nothing to do with my partners in the past. I loved them all to pieces. They are beautiful. And I'm so glad they came into my life. I'm so glad. Zero regrets. I'm honoured and blessed that my past people and my past intimate relationships have come into my life. Those people. I love and honour them 100% completely. They're beautiful beings. Gorgeous souls. Sweet people. And we all did the best we could at the time, and we all served a purpose in our life. Now, there's an example, everyone, and that was authentic and genuine coming from me. But there is a clear example of how you, an example of talking with the past. I'm grateful for where I've come. I'm grateful for where I've been. I'm grateful for what I've experienced. And if that's the type of talk you could do on a date, instead of talking about this happened to me, oh, all this sort of like stuff that doesn't feel good, you're gonna like just live an amazing life. Um, the more we love and accept ourselves unconditionally for the way we are right now the more we let go of force forcing ourselves to try to be a certain way that we aren't the more we will allow the flow to be the way that we want to be we will allow a flow we allow a receiving to be that way but it's without a force and it's with love and acceptance instead of without love and acceptance. Such a huge, powerful thing I just said to everyone. I hope you, hope you understand that. So I'll say it again, okay? I love, I love that. So, if we allow and accept and love ourselves the way we are to be, to be the way we are, <laughs> we allow change. We facilitate the receptivity, the positive change, to become who, we, who and what and how we want to be and become, okay, everyone? Um, when we try and when we judge ourselves and we don't accept or love ourselves unconditionally the way we are for making mistakes well it's not even a mistake but doing similar or the same behaviour that we feel isn't to our highest good when we judge that we don't really learn the lesson as, as quickly or, or as, as sort of poetically as beautifully as harmon harmoniously than if we just love and accept ourselves the way we are for, for committing, for, for making a similar behaviour than, than the past. Um, so when we judge ourselves, we put ourselves in a box. Um, when, we, when we love and accept ourselves for being the way we are, which isn't perfect, which is a growing and evolving being, then we, we soften the edges of, of the shell of our programming, our traumas, okay? We allow self-awareness better when we just go easy on ourselves and we allow ourselves to do this thing that may not be for our highest good. And for me, it's been in my diet. But, but it can also be obviously in relationship um, behavior patterns too. It can also be in like business or work-related behaviors. Um, for me, it's been so, 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 so powerful to love and accept myself to be where I am. And then to learn how to focus my mind and to think and talk about what is feels good, what's empowering and feels good. So highly encourage laughing out loud more in your life, being free and allowing yourself to express and to feel the love, the happiness, the fun, the joy, the playfulness, the jokes, the humorousness. Have fun, let loose, allow yourself to be free and then you'll be an example to others to allow other humans to copy you, to emulate you, to resonate with you, to resound with you to get a little bit of that energy, to feel what it's like, to see what it's like, and then there, then to embody that more in their own life. To, when you give yourself permission to be happy and free and joyful and authentic, even if it's sad too, but I'm talking about happiness right now, you allow others to be happy. It's so funny, to, it's like it's so funny to think about it. It's like we've been conditioned to be in a box of not too happy. Don't want to attract too much attention and be too happy or laugh out loud, because people will see me and look at me and they'll... <laughs> It's funny to what we think subconsciously or even consciously. But there's, there's nothing better than being happy, everyone. There's nothing better than being in the zone, in the flow, in the vortex, in the, in the, on the sunny beach, in that feeling, a good area of life. To be the holiday maker. Because we're souls on a holiday. Um, and it's a learning holiday too. Um, but, um, yeah, just play laugh out loud, um, play, laugh, and have fun. Those three things, along with learning your lessons, everyone, I swear to God, it's just, 
the most transformative experience ever along with loving and accepting yourself for any of the negative emotions too and when you combine that's how you allow healing you, you talk positive and nice to yourself um, you focus on the positive you make the list of positive aspects so to speak in your mind or on paper you talk about the positive aspects you focus on the positive aspects you laugh you play you have fun so then you make life more light-hearted the lessons become simp bit simpler and easier um, and then finally you're, you're willing to learn and to grow and expand if you do that with these things like accept and love unconditionally um, all the emotions that allows healing then you take the light-hearted approach you have fun as much joy and happiness in your life bliss fun love play happiness freedom and then you, then you learn the lessons that's that almost covers everything in life like what could be more positive and empowering and freeing than that that almost covers everything there's no need to talk make a thousand videos about a thousand other topics this video covers it all it almost does everybody said, really I've made like 1,500 videos and what I've said in this video is the best it's the most empowering it covers everything like people talk about like entities attacking them and if you raise your frequency and let, let out the blocked energy by lo loving yourself and accepting yourself the way you are and you, you, you allow yourself to laugh out loud and laugh have fun and play and to learn the lessons and to let the energy stuck energy flow out you're going to raise your frequency so much that anything that you might call a negative entity or it could be even a mental um, entity, a mental energy, you don't create that or attract it anymore. You don't. I, you just become invulnerable. I made a post yesterday on Facebook. Um, <laughs> um, when you raise your frequency or vibration enough, you don't have to worry about protecting yourself from other people's energy anymore. They have to worry about you and your energy. <laughs> they have to run away. <laughs> so yesterday I saw a couple like being affectionate and playing, physically playing with each other, like not sexually, but just energetically and physically having fun and playing. And a few minutes before that, I saw two dogs, black dogs on the beach, playing and running after each other. And it's the energy of play and delightfulness, the energy of delight. It made me feel so happy. And I told the couple that. And, and I cycled over out of my way to cycle and tell them that I felt really happy seeing them play and express like fun and affection to each other. And they were so happy to feel and receive this from me. And, I, and before that, when I saw the two black dogs chasing on the beach, I just, saw, I just kept looking at them when I cycled like quite a lot. Because it just made me feel so happy. Like look at them like frolicking, frolicking on the beach. Frivolous, carefree, fun, pure ecstasy and joy. So everyone in this video may have noticed, I've used positive words like 90%, 99% of the time, 95% of the time, you know? And that's what I like, that's what I encourage you to talk about and think about. Now if you could think about this 90 95% of the time, you will eliminate all negative emotions pretty much, at least 95 to 99% of the time. And when you do have a negative emotion and you reframe it and recontextualize it, you will, you will allow it to dissipate and you'll focus somewhere else and you'll generate a different emotion. Oh, I better go. 30 second countdown. Lots of love everyone. Thanks for watching and do please share, like, subscribe and leave any questions or comments and I'll be so happy to see you again in another video. Take care. Lots of love. Have a beautiful day. Have fun, laugh out loud and play.